it a stiff-necked people, let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant in my two hands. And I looked, and, behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, had made you a molten calf, ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and break them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord, as at the first, forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread, nor drink water, because of all your sins which ye sinned, in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure, wherewith the Lord was wroth against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which ye had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, ground very small, until it was as small as dust, and I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And at Tibera, and at Massa, and at Kibrathatava, ye provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise when the Lord sent you from Kadeshbarnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto the Lord, and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin, lest the land whence thou broughtest us out say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by thy mighty power and by thy stretched out arm. This content was provided by AngeloTracarico.com. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.